rare is this to actually see punches thrown? It it doesn't happen. Like you bring up the Piazza Clemens thing. Yeah, punches weren't thrown. No, but a baseball bat a was. A bat was. No, I know. And that had, alone is kind of exciting. We have had more baseball bats probably thrown at people in the history of baseball fights than actual punches. Yeah, gloves like, too. Juan helmets. Marichal, I think, famous one, right? I mean, we got Izzy Alcantara, the famous kick for the Pawtucket Red Sox to yeah. the catcher. Like we have stuff like that more than you just don't see guys throw down. Oh, Nolan Ryan and your guy Robin Ventura. Oh, sorry listen, to break we don't it up. have to go there. Come on, man. One of we the know few what you're times, talking about. man. We just. For as many times as we see dugouts empty, the stupid run from the bullpen. Oh, the bullpen runs the best? Are you kidding <laughs> oh, me? Did you see the camera <laughs> angle they went to on this one? They have them going down the stairs right after? The boys were ready, bro. <laughs> they what were not ready. So here's the other part. That's by a it. dream. Before, I know you're going to break this down. The thing that got to me about this one is that they were all so stunned or so uh, – fake tough because that's what baseball guys are True. that they got everybody out there there were punches thrown the guy knocked out yep. and nobody else threw another punch well like if there was one time you thought you'd get a real brawl this would have been it there were a couple of different things that happened after the initial fight but uh okay let's get to it so it all started when there's a base hit to the outfield jose ramirez rounding first going to second slides in under tim anderson if i can get the video queued up exactly where i want it he slides in under Tim Anderson, and it looks as if Tim Anderson kind of holds the posture above Jose Ramirez. He's straddling him, essentially, a little too Pause. long. Pause. A little too long. This is very disrespectful. You see it in basketball sometimes. Some dude yeah, dunks like, the defender on the floor. Dude who dunks standing over him like, yeah, I own you now, and a fight breaks out. I'm I around think baseball is- a lot, man. I got unwritten rules. Like, this doesn't look that bad to me. Okay. But Tim Anderson can be a little bit of a villain, Casey, right? Yeah, a little bit. Well, at this point, when he applies, Tim Anderson applies the tag to Jose Ramirez's back, Jose looks around like, are you guys seeing this? What's happening over here? He's giving one of those looks like, am I alone? Is this weird? I think I'm not the only one who's feeling this right now. He points to Tim Anderson in a way to kind of tell him to get off of him. Yeah, yeah. And this is really where the confrontation starts. Up comes Ramirez and he, the finger to the face from Ramirez to Tim Anderson right there, it's hands. Anyone who's ever had a fight before, if you're catching a finger right to the bridge of the nose, which is where Ramirez put that finger on Anderson, it's hands from that moment. And that's what happened. The ump tries to get in between the two. These boys are jawing it up. A little push, a little shove. Ramirez is like, you want to go? Anderson says, you best believe I want to go. Umpire needs to get out of the way. Umpire (laughs) needs to hit hit the road. (laughs) And he does. He backs right here. Right at this moment, he backs out. Ramirez is starting to square up. He's got his hands up. You see the glove coming off of Tim Anderson. He's about to square up. Uh And it's on. This is insane. Ding, ding, ding. When was the last time you saw two guys standing squared up? Face to face in a baseball this fight. This I've never seen. See, this is actually the best. I know there's going to be more to it. This is the best part uh, of the fight. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because you've never seen this ever. ever. Yeah, I've you, never seen two guys square up. Batista Odor squared up, and then Odor dropped him. Odor, Did they, they I kind of like remember this? Yes. Gloves off. It was. Yeah, Odor dropped his glove, but and Batista was running, so yeah. he didn't have a glove. Yeah, it wasn't like this <laughs> where point. like the guys weren't because in in the Batista fight, you're you're still running as you're approaching the pitcher, are you not? No, no, they no. Were Batista second. was sliding in a second. second. It was the same yeah, thing. That's okay. a good call. Okay. That's a good call. But it happened fast. Joey Bats was like, "Hey, what are we doing here?" And Odor's like, "I'm dropping you." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was like, "You want to go? I'm gonna. You want to go? You want to go? Okay, let's go." And then they squared up and are like, "Here we go." Here's the thing, though. Just from looking at the the position these guys are in, it looks like Ramirez has actually had a couple of fights before. And Tim Anderson has only pretended to have fights Tim, before. This is what he saw in the movies when you fight. It's yes. what it looks like. It looks like how people like shadow box in a mirror. It does not look how you square up in a fight where you're punching someone. Which, by the way, in real fights, you don't you almost never get to punch somebody. That's true. But I think Ramirez is doing it right. He's this got is like a hockey fight. A little bit. The ump got out of the way and everything. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. And Ramirez has his left up by his jaw protecting the side of his face. He's got his right down. He's ready to drop him with a cross haymaker with that right when given the opportunity as we start the video up again. Here we go. So Anderson, first mistake of the fight, leans in face first. That true. is not what you want to do <laughs> in the middle of a fight. And by the way, when he leans in, he does the next dumb thing. He drops both his hands down. <laughs> How many fights have you been in? A few. We okay. don't have to dig deep. I'm just saying, look, How this many man this building? led with his nose <laughs> and then dropped his hands. This is like, you can't get more of a mistake than that. Anyone who's actually been in a fight 
knows that this is a quick way to get your nose broken. So here we go. Tim Anderson stepping in. Ramirez still looks like he's like, come on, man, come on. He's giving him the wave in. Here comes Anderson. First punch. Miss. But as he's missing, Kopech is behind Ramirez, and it looks like Ramirez is already falling. He does. Kopech is also like 6'8", by the way. This is a massive human. <laughs> but you'll notice now you have three White Sox players around one Guardian player in Ramirez. He's already on the way down. Tim Anderson is still going to let loose with a couple of punches. One punch he misses. Ramirez wildly returns with a right. Wildly. No look. His head is down. He essentially thinks he's being jumped by three guys. Wild, wild swing with the right. Misses. Anderson misses with the left. Cross the face. Misses. Throws another right above the head. Misses. Here comes the punch of the fight, guys. Oh, this is insane. Ramirez, if you can believe it, two and a half seconds later, still falling down. He's not even looking. He's in mid-fall, Brent. He hasn't really moved from when he started to tip over. On the way down, though. Woo, oh, there buddy. it is. The it's right coming. hand comes up across again. No look punch. He's looking at the ground, but throws a windmill of a right punch. I don't know. You don't look like a mosh pit kind of guy, Brent. But, you know, in mosh pits around I'm town, they do this thing called the windmill right. where they throw their arms up and around like a windmill and you clock somebody and you feel good about yourself. And this <laughs> is really what Jose Ramirez had going on in this fight. This is a soft Boom. jaw, Boom. man. That's a soft chin. Well, That's actually the underrated part of this where Jake Paul needs credit. This shows you, like, how much these real fighters actually take. If yeah. a falling down side hand right is putting you out, he's asleep. If you're watching the stream, yeah, I'll he's bring it back a standing second. up but asleep. So, basically, when Ramirez connects with the right, at first, I didn't even think it was a hard right he connected <laughs> with. Just paused it again, but it did. It put him out, and as Casey pointed out, we let the video play, and at this point— He's no longer with us he's at not, this He's shot. no longer with us. He's, oh, that's a good stoppage right there. Yeah, really, you got him. His but heart is beating, but power. he's not there. He yes. is like uh, the Mike Tyson punch out guy, the glass jaw guy. This man right? is in <laughs> REM sleep at this point. <laughs> What's crazy, Casey, Standing up. On top of this is that he went to sleep and woke up really quick. Oh, yeah. He went down. So we watch <laughs> him go down, and he's down now. But you can see Ramirez now accidentally getting choked out by Kopech still. <laughs> like, it seems like Kopech is <laughs> trying to pull him away, but Ramirez, above average weight, falling down at the same time. I don't think Kopech was ready to hold him up by his neck. But that's what's happening there. So Anderson falls to the ground, but first, I mean, he is lights out. Everyone's looking at Ramirez. Suddenly, this is when it comes. And Brent, to your point, with this doesn't happen in baseball, if I'm Ramirez or Anderson, I'm like, I have three and a half seconds before 30 guys jump yeah, on yeah. top of me. Yeah, you got to make it count. And so who's coming first? Do I trust in my guys on the Guardians to have my back? Or will the White Sox finally hustle out here and do something tonight? Well, it seems like the White Sox beat out the Guardians to get to Jose Ramirez because that's when all 80,000 people who are in the dugout hit the field as we watch the slow-mo one more time. He's asleep. He's asleep. <laughs> the other part of this fight I didn't realize, we're going to get the supreme angle on this here in a second, is right here, Brent. There were four punches thrown before Ramirez threw the wild no-look punch, and you don't really see it the first time around, but you see the misses from this great angle here. You got Tim Anderson throwing the glove off. Once again, the ump is backed out. They're squaring up. Fists are up. First punch from Tim after he leads with his face and drops his hands mm. is a right that misses. He comes back with a left that misses. He comes back with a right that misses. And then, guys, watch this on this next left. Not only does he miss Ramirez's face, he accidentally body blows him. If mm. Watch it connect with the body accidentally oh. right before he loses his teeth to a Ramirez right if hand. If the shot that Tim Anderson's throwing here, the one that goes over him before he gets knocked out, mm -hmm. if this hits, Jose Ramirez is still asleep. If that punch would have hit, Jose Ramirez is still a asleep. A little high, but yeah, Ramirez would have been hurt. But I got news for you. If he hit him with this next punch in an uppercut instead of trying yeah, to swipe true. his face with it, and then the third punch if he connected. That, this right here. This would have hit the back of the head right at the top, right where the stem kind of meets the skull. You would have dizzied him a little bit. But the point I'm making here, guys, again, Tim Anderson, the punches he's throwing, it's almost as if he's trying to scrape Ramirez's face with his knuckles as opposed to put a dent into his forehead with them. Agreed. I don't really understand the exact kind of thinking that was going on here other than it's time to throw, let's throw, but clearly Ramirez to me was way more prepared. I just want to fast forward a little bit more to end this video up. real quick, Brent. Everyone comes out, <laughs> including all the old managers and coaches who start to fight with each other, but if you'll notice, 
at the end of the video, as the old guys are starting to yell at each other, down at the bottom and in the right of the video, Ramirez makes his way back on screen right about here, and in his hand, he's got a helmet. Uh -oh. <laughs> he's ready to toss. He's ready to crown somebody with that helmet a la Aaron Darnold. He's not getting caught in the face or the head or anything. He's ready to hurt somebody with that thing. And then finally, you see the pitchers join the fray, as you were talking about before. After coming down the stairs, we've got a green-haired maniac pitcher here at the bottom for the Guardians getting held back by other pitchers. It's very clear to me none of these guys want any smoke whatsoever. You oh. heard the radio call from this, right? Yeah. I did. Do really you good. have it? Ow! 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 Ow!